Good top of the morning to you whosoever's. Again, trying to give a morning message. Whew. Trying to get a hundred things done. I got this book. Check it out. Motorcycles. Next year, I'm going to get a motorcycle. But anyway, I wanted... You know, there's a book I have right now that I read a lot. Why I've read a lot. Um, that really encouraged me. It's called... Uh, why Grace Changes Everything by Pastor Chuck Smith. And uh, I know it um, really helped me during the difficult times of, of, of knowing God's Word and understanding it. So I think I'm going to start to have an overview. Maybe whoever wants to join. I mean, the key is that you grow in the knowledge of the Word of God. You know, one of the things that, that book taught me was... You're never going to be more righteous than the day you were born again. You know, our righteousness is not our own. It's from God. God gives you that righteousness. And that really takes a lot of uh, steam off your self-righteous uh, works. Uh, because if you're using your goodness to, to be in closer relationship with God, and then you, like, do bad, then, then in reality your relationship with God was based on, you know, whether you were doing good or bad. Whereas the Word of God declares that those who, who believe in God must first believe that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. And those who learn His Word and realize that it is the imputed righteousness of Christ that gives us uh, that atonement, that's what the word atonement means in the Bible. Someone atoning or, or, or canceling your debt. You know, when you, someone cancels your debt, uh, it's a good thing. You know, we all have struggles with our own, you know, you don't want to have a relationship with God that's a roller coaster. Because a roller coaster relationship, you know, you have some good days and you have some bad days. You know, you have to have a relationship with God that is that, that you walk by faith. And that faith is believing that God died for you on the cross, that he shed his blood for the remission of sins. And he died and went to basically went to Abraham's bosom which was divided between hell and those who were waiting for the coming Messiah and preached to the captives and he, and he set them free and he took them to heaven. See, but they couldn't enter heaven until Jesus Christ had paid the price, the penalty of sin on the cross. And he died for, you know, all the sins from Adam and Eve at the beginning at the Garden of Eden all the way to... Uh, the last people who come to faith in Jesus Christ. I don't know when, the, when we know the church age is coming to a close. And because of that, you know, we have, uh, we don't have as much time as we, we think we do. You know, we need to uh, work, work on uh, trusting God and, you know, don't allow the circumstances, whether it be political, emotional, whether it be even your own walk, you get discouraged. If you're looking at your own walk and you get discouraged because you're looking at yourself, you should be looking at the Lord. You should be focus, focusing on what the God had done for you. Focus on what God desires for you. Focus on, you know, praying for people. You know, when was the last time you just stopped and prayed for somebody? When was the last time you, you, you encouraged somebody? You know, you're just, you're just like, hey, you know, get, you know, get, get better, you know? Oh, had a good workout today. Working out the body, mind, and soul. You know, the, why grace changes everything? Because your salvation is by, by grace. You know? So your salvation is based on what God did for you what God continues to do for you. You could be thankful 
you know, we look at our lives and, you know, we, we might compare ourselves with, with other people, you know, my life is not as good as so-and-so. But, you know, guys, we're not promised, we're not promised health, wealth, and prosperity. You know, actually, the Bible promises tribulation and strife and turmoil and tears. You know? The Bible promises are true to the believer and the unbeliever. So I'm going to start reading why grace changes everything. You know, I really believe that we're heading into the tribulation. And, you know, I don't know when. But the Bible does declare that, you know, there's a, the, it's called the revived Roman Empire. It's going to re revive a dictatorship under a Nero or a Caesar. He's going to rule the world under ten kings. And they're basically the ten kings are going to be like puppets. They're going to have... A, one mind and one accord. You know, they're going to be the puppets to the Antichrist, whatever he wants, the beast of revelation. And why grace changes everything? Because, you know, trusting in God's word, you first must know God's word. And, you, and secondly, you must read it and you must write it not in the, in the, in, in the temple of your mind, but in that in, uh, of the inner person in, in, in the chambers of the heart. You gotta write, write thy word in thy heart. David said, "Write by the word in my heart, that that I may not sin against thee." What's gonna keep us from going into blatant sin is basically God's word written in our heart, the conviction of God or the Holy Spirit or God the Father, one of them. I mean, they, I guess they all could do whatever they want to do, you know. All I'm saying is, why grace changes everything. Because if you have grace, you give grace. You know, you realize that no matter how sinful people are, they're just where you you're looking at yourself. Because we're all born sinners. We're all uh, born in Adam, and because of that, you know, we 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 we, we are born spiritually dead. What the Bible says, and you know, when we we're born again, we are made alive, and we come from out of in Adam to in Christ. And because of that, you're you are able to discern God living and dwelling in you. You know, you have God dwelling in you. That's the, that's the one of the miracles of, of of the gospel that God dwells in us. We're, we're lights and salts in this dark world. You know, we're different than everybody else because we see life not as, 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 as you know, get, get, get everything and get out, but more as, you know, this is our mission field. To reach the lost, the spiritually dead, the destitute. You know, there's a lot of people that have gone to be with the Lord, but God used me to minister to them. For so many years, you know, sowing seed little bit by little bit, you know, sowing seed, sowing seed, and that's basically what we do when, when we when we we adhere to the gospel is that we sow seed in other people's lives. You give them faith. You encourage them. You know, you you are uh, you know the water boy bringing water and refresh refreshness to a relationship or to a person who's you know in, in a spiritual drought, you might say. I don't really know, bro. All I know is that life is going to get better. My life is getting so much better. I thank the Lord every day. You know, I'm, 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 I'm glad I'm not in bondage to alcohol. <coughs> you know, no, no wonder why they call it bars, right? I'm in bondage. So anyway, may the Lord bless you guys. Be girded, be strengthened. How you like my new stand? I, uh, I, I just do it so, you know, anybody in the tribulation, if you're watching this and you're in the great tribulation, hang in there. If you get your head chopped off, don't worry, bro. You're going to have one of these, ba you're going to have a badge right here, you know, martyr badge. So don't trip, bro. You know, you're going to stand before God at the, the, at the Bema Seat of Christ, which is good.
he's gonna give you the rewards you know be a martyr if you find yourself in the tribulation i'm telling you i believe obama's the antichrist or the future beast of revelation there's gonna be one but i believe that's the character that's gonna betray the role so don't believe that guy wherever the beast of revelation turns out to be don't believe him don't trade your soul don't take the mark of the beast don't don't fall trap that God don't exist that He's forsaking you. you no, know, if you're in, if you're in here and the, and the God's releasing the seven bowls and the, and they're having trouble with the sun and the moon and the meteors coming to hit the earth called wormwood, you know, and it's gonna hit the lakes and it's gonna make the water bitter and those who drank the water were, were, were poisoned and died. Those who take the mark of the beast are gonna have boils come out of their body. The Antichrist is going to be one of your worship. There's a lot of stuff coming, Carnales. Read it. It's in the Bible. It's the future. Uh-oh. I like your word. Thank you, dude. <laughs> anyway, God bless you guys. Keep me in prayer. I got four minutes. Have a good day. God bless you.